one of the popular cool leafy salad crop grown throughout the year. This week on The Ghanaian Farmer, we bring you insight on lettuce farming here in Ghana. This program is proudly brought to you by Lizzy Tomato Mix. My name is Senyunam. Get interactive on our social media platform with your questions and views on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube, The Ghanaian Farmer. I'm going for a quick breather. When I come back, Daniel Lakai, he is an agronomist and a farmer. He'll be joining us to tell us all that you need to know about the irrigation drip plastic mulch system of farming here in Ghana. It can be done everywhere. Just listen and relax in the comfort of your home. I'll be right back after this. Seated next to me is Mr. Daniel Laka. He is an agronomist and a farmer. We are coming to you from his farm. It's a lettuce farm. We also have some cucumber on the side. But our focus is going to be on the lettuce today. Everything that you need to know about lettuce farming. It's an urban farming. So forget about my background and let's focus on what we are going to study today. And this system of farming has a name. Drip system with plastic mulch. Yes, please. Thanks for joining us on the Ghanaian Farmer. Thank you. Now, briefly explain to us what drip system with plastic mulch farming means. So basically, it's a system whereby we grow crops in soil mm -hmm. and we pass water through a system called drip pipes, okay. which is laid under the, uh, the, on the bed. Okay. And after laying it, we cover the whole bed with the drip pipe with a plastic mulch, mm -hmm. after which we plant on the plastic mulch together with the drip system. Okay. Now, what's the difference between open field farming and the drip system farming? Actually, what we are doing here is also open field. Okay. Just that we are a step further. Right. We cover our soil, the surface of our soil, with mm -hmm. a plastic mulch. Mm -hmm. And instead of also watering mm -hmm. on top of our plant, mm -hmm. we've laid a pipe Smooth. beneath. Okay. Yes. So the pipe supply the water to the crops beneath. So the pipe is hidden in the soil yes, whilst see. covered with the plastic. In fact, on the surface, just on the surface just of the, the soil. Surface. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now let's zoom in into the lettuce itself. Okay. Now, when we say lettuce farming, what is lettuce farming? Um, lettuce is a leafy vegetable mm -hmm. um, which can be grown throughout the year, especially in our part of the world, okay. that are the tropical mm -hmm. regions. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a banner crop. But mostly, we harvest it in the first season. Okay. If you want it to go to the second season, it will produce flowers, which will give off seeds. Right. But in our context, we want the leaves. Okay. And not the seeds. The, the seeds. All right. Yeah. If I want to plant lettuce, take me through the process, one after the other. Okay. So if you want to grow a lettuce, mm -hmm. first of all, you have to look at the variety you want. Okay. We have several uh, varieties of okay. lettuce. We have the Lolo Rosa. This is the Eden variety. Okay. And if, there, there are a lot of them. Okay. But our market prefer the Eden. Okay. That's why the we Ghanaian market, the Ghanaian market mm -hmm. prefer the Eden variety a lot. So that's why we are growing it here. Okay. So if you decide on the variety you want, mm -hmm. then you buy the seeds from um, a certified uh, body that's a shop. Seed dealer. Seed dealer, okay. yeah. You buy it from them. Then you raise a seedlings. And then normally the seedling will take between three weeks to a month. Three before you four weeks. Four weeks before you can do the transplanting. Mm -hmm. So immediately after nursing the seeds, mm -hmm. then you have to go to your field and start preparing the land mm -hmm. so that when your seedlings are ready, you do the transplanting. Okay. Yes. And let us take um, a month to mature. Okay. Just a month. The nursing takes four weeks. Four weeks. And the maturity also is four weeks. Four weeks. And then you are ready to harvest. You are ready to harvest. Okay. Now, when I transplant yeah. into the main uh, uh, place where I'm going to grow them, yeah. um, do I also use any form of 
chemicals to support the maturity or this is purely organic? Um, in my context, I'll say that this production is organic. Okay. Because uh, when we prepare the soil mm -hmm. or the bed, mm -hmm. we, mix it with, uh, we mix the bed with cow dung and we laid our pipe and covered everything. But we have our own fertilizer mm -hmm. we, we, we manufactured okay. to support lettuce production. Mm -hmm. So the tank over there, we put in water and we mix some of the fertilizer in there. Okay. So when we open the water, ah. it feeds the plant directly oh. onto the root zone so that they can pick the water together with the nutrients. Mm -hmm. And it's organic in the sense that we use pesticides that have lower residual effects. Mm -hmm. And in another way, too, I would say that they have lower PHI. Be the PHI means that when you apply a pesticide on a crop, mm -hmm. you have some days that you have to leave the crop before you harvest. Okay. Okay. So instead of maybe using um, a, a pesticide that will take about 14 to 28 days, I use pesticide that will require, let's say, three days or a week. Mm -hmm before you can have it, so okay. that the consumer will have any side effect. Side effect. Okay. Yes. So that's the most important thing we consider here, because okay. we don't want to poison our consumers. Okay. That's yeah. fine. Thank you very much for that explanation. Well. Now, this bed, are you able to tell me the length of this bed? The length of this bed is 10 meters. 10 meters. Yes, please. How many containers of lettuce seeds did you use on this bed? The, the container we bought um, contains a lot of like lettuce seeds are very tiny, very small, very very small, okay. and so normally they sell them in grams. So the one we bought is fifty gram, okay. which contains so much, and the one we nest there is just about half a tablespoon for, half, the, whole for the whole bed. Oh, okay, I see. Half a tablespoon. Right. So lettuce is actually a very lucrative business. Business. Okay. And one aspect of it is that it's a short season crop like mm. uh, the, 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 the maturity is very short. very short within eight weeks you're good to go within eight weeks and even if you are growing them sequentially mm. you can always prepare um, a seedling this week next week you prepare another seedling so continuously every week you have lettuce to supply okay. if you're able to program it very well right yeah. now one thing i also want to know it's the cost for me how much is the uh container how much is it being sold for the container, the container is um, 82 cities. That's 82 for the cities. 52 grams. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, this system of planting, the drip irrigation, Yeah. how much goes into the preparation of the whole bed? Okay. In case somebody is interested in this system. Okay. Our, the field size we have here mm -hmm. um, is about um, 150 meters square area. But normally, the inputs we buy, mm -hmm. you won't get... Um, them in this size. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, the plastic mulch we bought is 500 meters square, mm -hmm. 500 meters in length, mm -hmm. and it, it's, uh, it's sold for 350 <coughs> cities. So, we bought 350, and the irrigation system to 500 meters square mm -hmm. is um, 1,000 cities. But this place is smaller than mm -hmm. 500, so okay. we bought. So, let's say that the, the amount we spent mm -hmm. on this area mm -hmm. to set up this field is around 1,600 to 1,700. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Lettuce, yeah. after harvesting, how many days can it last for? It depends on the um, agronomic practices that went in there. Because somebody may grow lettuce and it will take just a day and it will go bad. Mm -hmm. Somebody can also grow lettuce, it can even take a month and it still be fresh. Okay. All depends on the fertilizer application, the pesticides you are using, and even the time of harvesting. Mm -hmm. And the kind of um, storage conditions... You, you give to the lettuce. What should be the best storage condition for keeping lettuce? In fact, the best storage condition, even the harvesting, mm -hmm. it's ideal to harvest lettuce early in the morning okay. when the sun hasn't come up. Right. After harvesting, mm -hmm. you keep it at a cool area mm -hmm. um, for some few hours. Mm -hmm. Then you can package it into poly bags mm -hmm. and store them in refrigerators, mm -hmm. at least at a temperature around 20 degrees it's good to go. Okay. Um, when I harvest this lettuce, are you able to tell me how much is being sold? Uh, we sell um, 200 gram okay. for five cities. Okay. Yeah. How is the market demand like for lettuce? There's a lot of demand for lettuce. Okay. So most vegetable farms even focus much on leafy vegetables. Okay. 
because they are uh, they have a shorter maturity period and all the time people are also you because if you can bear with me that those preparing salads on our speed use lettuce a lot mm -hmm. as compared to even cabbage yes. Yes. the water seller yeah. the restaurants the vega uh, uh, yeah the, the vega joint yeah, sorry they all, use they all use so there's high demand for, for lettuce, lettuce. Mm -hmm. yeah okay there is this word i hear farmers say overgrow overgrow <laughs> <laughs> do you does it apply to lettuce as well? yes yes it does at it does. what point is it that when you do not harvest your lettuce you call it or term it as overgrow and the best time to harvest your lettuce is when it's about four weeks old, old. yes okay. and after that if you see a sign which we call bolting mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. it's producing flowers mm -hmm. you uh, the fly the whole thing will look like a conical in shape mm -hmm. And before you know, a flower is appearing, mm. which means that it's it beyond years. So, in in a point like that, you can only leave it to overgrow, or you can still consume it. Uh, is it consumable when it's still It's not. It's not the quality is not good to be okay. sold. Okay. But I have I've heard people use it for medicinal purposes okay. because at that point it becomes a little bitter. Right. But I've heard people use it for tea and okay. other stuff. Right. Yeah. So, let us. Yeah. After you harvest it, mm. can you replant on the bed immediately? So in, in our production system here, what we do is, after harvesting this, we can do another cycle. Okay. But we won't go a third cycle. Okay. So in the third cycle, we replace it with another crop from a different family of crop. Mm. We won't repeat anything from the same family of lettuce. Okay. Why? Why? Why is it like that? And because most of the time, if you repeat the same crop at the same point, there's disease build up, okay. which can lead to 100% crop failure. Ah. Yeah. Right. Now, the lettuce is well packed. It's mm. heavily packed. Yeah. Yeah. Are you not worried about pests? No, actually, it's to our advantage. Why? Because we want to make good use of the space. Mm. And when it's also packed like that, it gives the lettuce a very, a very nice shape. Okay. So, in fact, we it, it was well planned to have it in this packed form. All right. So, viewers, if you're just tuning in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime. My name is Enyonam. And today, we don't have your regular farmer. We have an agronomist and a farmer. And so, he's telling us all that you need to know about lettuce. His name is Daniel Lakai. I'm going for a quick breather. When I come back, we'll continue the conversation. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. If you're just tuning in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime. My name is Zenyunam. Get interactive on our social media platform on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube, The Ghanaian Farmer. If you miss it on Mondays, 1.30 on Joy Prime, make sure just go to YouTube. There are a lot of interviews about that. This program is proudly brought to you by Lizzie Tomato Mix. The festive season, Christmas, is getting closer and closer. And our women and, of course, the bachelors will be going to the market. For shopping don't forget to buy your lazy tomato mix it gives your meal a great test it contains a lot of vitamins and fiber for your children so the best tomato mix i recommend is lazy if you want to be a distributor just contact the numbers displayed on our screen we still have our agronomist here telling us more that we need to know about lettuce farming so we were talking about how packed yeah. the lettuce is and you say yeah. you have any problem with pests because it's even good for you yeah. now let's talk about how many times i can harvest my lettuce because i know the cucumber behind you i harvest more than once yes please. but how about <coughs> lettuce how many times can i harvest okay with our project mm. with eden we will harvest it once okay but we know there are varieties that people just take leaves of the plants and they leave the stock in the soil for it to produce leaves again okay there are there are the type that when yeah, you cut the leaves, leaves it will still to grow, grow again yes okay but, but this type the we, hidden type yeah we will have it with the stock yes okay. Yeah. okay i see yeah. so it means it's just once once yeah what kind of weather is most suitable for lettuce uh, a wide range of climate mm. and in fact seed breeders they, they make sure the seed they breed for a particular area will be able to um, adapt and grow. Mm -hmm. So with eating, 
is for our tropical conditions. Okay. Yes. But you might go to areas, for instance, um, let's just like iceberg. You can go it here, but you know you not get the form. It's hardly to get the form because of the high temperatures we have we have in our, in our part of the world. Okay. Yes. So if you want to go, when you go to the seed sellers or those vendors, mm. just tell them you want to go something. They should give you something that will be okay with our tropical conditions, and okay. they will give you what. We I see. Now the kind of the variety or the breed you grow here yeah. is it Ghanaian? No, most of these are coming from outside. Um, why is it so? <laughs> that one, uh, the, the, the answering will be a little difficult. Okay. I think this one, uh, our um, Center for Scientific and Industrial Research, they, they have to really <laughs> tell us. And also maybe the government right. may come in as well. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Now, my next uh, question would be on... Um, why the Eden is in high demand as compared to the other varieties? Okay. Uh, most of the market women um, are saying that it is a little hardy. You can... It's hard. The, like, when I mean hard, like, mm -hmm. uh, you can keep it, the shelf life. Okay. It has a longer shelf life okay. as compared to the other ones. Mm -hmm. And also the shape. Mm -hmm. You can see it's forming some kind of, like, um, a head. Mm -hmm like this okay. you can see so it also gives it a nicer look and people prefer the eating variety oh, okay that's fine yeah uh, with the with the lettuce yeah when the market women buys it from you the consumers or the traders yeah you were mentioning some temperature for maybe i who want to keep it in the house yeah how about those who keep it in the market and sell under the scorchy sun how should it be kept so in the scorchy sun you have to get a shady area okay. and put the lettuce under and from time to time you can splash it with some water, water. Okay. Uh, chilled um, let's say water with a temperature around 20 degrees like a little cold mm. yeah if, to keep it in to shape keep it in shape yeah okay so lettuce would you say it's a profitable farming yeah lettuce is a very lucrative venture mm -hmm. as i told you initially mm. The maturity period is shorter. Okay. It's shorter, and you can produce it throughout the year. Okay. And it's not difficult as well. Right. It's not difficult as compared to tomato and other things. Can lettuce grow anywhere? In Ghana. Yes. Yes. You don't have specific areas you can grow. Lettuce can grow anywhere, provided you have water for it. Available. Available. Okay. Now you see with chili pepper, or even bell pepper. After I have it, yeah. if I don't want to go back to the seed dealer and buy seeds, mm. I'm able to take some of the seeds, seeds. keep mm. it. I mean, my father does it. My father is a farmer. Yeah. Then the next season, I plant again. Yeah. Is it the same with uh, lettuce? Even with the pepper you are saying, mm. it will depend on the variety you are using. If mm. you are using hybrid seeds, mm. it's not advisable to be growing hybrid seeds again. But maybe the one your father is using is the indigenous ones we have. The open pollinated ones, okay. but if you are getting a hybrid seed, mm. it's not advisable to me because you might not get the same quality of fruit you had from the initial seed. Oh, okay. You kept mentioning water, water, water. Yeah. How many times is the farmer supposed to open the? Um, how do I say? Irrigation. Irrigation mm. for the crop to have water. So it depends on several factors. Okay. One. Um, the soil type you are going to, the stage of the crop, and also external factors like temperature, the um, light, um, sun intensity, and all that. You can bear with me that on a cloudy day, your plants may not lose a lot of water. So instead of irrigating each and every day, you can make it maybe every other day. Okay. You get it. Okay. Another factor, if your soil is too light, like mm -hmm. sandy soil, mm -hmm. you put water in there, all drains up, mm -hmm. and it gets dry quickly. Okay. So that one you have to know and know that, okay, may have to get it every in day. In that case, what type of soil is most suitable for lettuce? Um, we have been taught that you say that loamy soil. Okay. But the point is from agronomic point of view, as an agronomist, you should be able to 
modify the soil to meet no matter the soil yes that is why you use the cow dung the cow dung okay so i'm using plastic mulch mm -hmm. so many things okay. you can also if you see that your soil maybe has a lot of the maybe the ph is low there's something you can do to make the bring the ph to normal mm -hmm. and grow so it depends on you have to know what your soil is mm -hmm. and what you can do about it okay yes right so i'm going for another break when mm. i come back we'll be wrapping up okay. on this interview okay. but you tell me more about what you do for farmers in okay. the country okay. and how they can reach out to you in case they need your services so you're still watching the Ghanaian farmer my name is and seated next to me is daniel lakai he is an agronomist and a farmer he helps a lot of farmers to put up this kind of system the drip irrigation system with plastic mulch uh, so I've learned something new today. Coming up is 60 seconds on our Greek. Let's get to know what is trending in the agriculture sector. When we come back, we'll wrap it up here. Stay tuned. seconds on our great this is still the Ghanaian farmer my name is Sanyunam and sitting next to me is Daniel Lakai an agronomist and a farmer our focus today is the drip irrigation plastic mulch style of farming in an urban setting this is somebody's self-contained house and it's a farm as well so forget about my background and focus on what we are learning today so Daniel um, I wanted you to help me I put yeah. one of the letters and uh, there you have it it's it's really big now this looks healthy this can make me a whole salad and that is the root yeah. of the uh, the lettuce yeah. so it means that this the hole that you create to plant yeah. the crop is not too deep right? it's, it's not do, too deep because lettuce is a shallow rooted crop okay very shallow rooted crop okay all right, so this is what is going for two CD or five CD? Five, five um, gram. Okay. Uh, sorry, 200 gram uh -huh. of the lettuce is five CDs. Okay. Yes. So do you ma do scale? Do yeah, you we have scale? a scale. We put it on scale. Okay. Who are your main clients? Who do you do business with? We is it do, the traders in the market or the restaurant we, people? We, or the actually, we do business with everybody. Okay. But currently, we are focusing more on the restaurants and the shopping malls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, there is a talk about the ratio between extension officers and farmers limited in the country. Mm. Agronomist, yeah. there are a lot of you in the system. What are you doing to transform the face of agriculture in the country? Uh, the truth oh. is opposite. Agronomists are not much in the system. Okay. Yes, because I can tell you that when we were in the secondary school, even when we completed, most of our colleagues diverted from the agri field. Mm -hmm. So that should even tell, give you a picture of how um, agronomists are scarce mm. in the system. We need more of them. Okay. We need more so okay. that we can help build the agri system. Right. Um, while we're having the conversation, you told me there is a sign I have to watch out for when I see them on my lettuce leaves. Mm. What does that mean? In case I see such signs, some whitish signs. Yeah, you ask what of pests. Yeah. So, this is a sign of leaf miner. Okay. It's a larvae that feeds on the leaves. Mm -hmm. So, if you see a sign like this, mm -hmm. it tells you that you're, you are having a leaf miner in your farm. So How if do the, I treat stuff like that? So, we have pesticides we apply mm -hmm. to control. But at this stage, mm -hmm. if we want to even control, what we use is neem oil. Okay. Because neem oil has 
lower PHI. You can even apply neem oil this morning and evening harvest it okay. and use it. Okay. So at this stage, if you want to apply anything, it will be neem oil. Right. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk briefly about you and what you do for farmers. Okay. Um, what do you do for me or if I need to go into this style of farming, what would you do to help me? So what I do for farmers is, and not just farmers, anybody who wants to go into farming, okay. if you call me, I come in, all you have to do is tell me what you want mm. and provide me with the finance and we set it up for you. Okay. Yes. Alongside, we also do consultancy to farms, mm -hmm. already established farms. Mm -hmm. We do irrigation um, installation. Mm -hmm. We also do training. We train people, mm -hmm. organizations. We train individuals. Mm -hmm. So anywhere you call us, mm -hmm. in Ghana, mm -hmm. we'll be there. Are you specialized in specific crops or everything? Currently, I'm doing general cropping. But uh, I'm trying to promote more of vegetables and fruit production. Okay. Vegetables and fruits. Are you able to tell why very often the international markets banned our vegetables from going out there? Yeah, it, it's just a simple issue. It's a matter of standardization. Okay. And when I talk about standardization, a lot goes in there. Even how you apply your fertilizer, how you apply your pesticide. There should be a stream. We have to streamline it so that even any farmer in the country will be doing everything the same way like the farmer in the north will be doing it, the same way it should be done in the south. Okay. If we do that, then we can harmonize, um, unify the way we produce, and the standard will be constant anyway. Yeah. All right. So we are wrapping up our interview. Uh, what would be that last words you want to share with farmers, yeah. um, those who are aspiring to go into farming as well? What would be the last words you would share with them? Uh, I want to tell um, our people out there that farming is very lucrative, mm. but it will only be lucrative if you take it as a business. Mm. Uh, most of the time, people think it's a matter of growing, putting some, no, but a lot goes in there, mm. and you need an expert mm. to help you uh. do that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so you need an expert to help you go into your agribusiness so that you can get the expected result. You can make the profit of the capital you've injected into the farming. My name is Zenyunam and today we brought you all that you need to know, the tips, insight about lettuce farming. And it's looking so greening. Today, dear, no banking. <laughs> it is <very> trouble. <laughs> My name is Zenyunam. I'll see you next week. Until then, it's a bye for now. Make sure that if you missed it on Joy Prime, you would go on our YouTube channel, The Ghanaian Farmer. Subscribe to it. There are a lot of interviews there for you to watch and learn from. If you need the services of Daniel, just reach out to me and I'll connect the both of you for him to help you become a good farmer. Thank you very much.